Mm, so Targa is not really well uh, is angled towards us. So we got a nice flat shot on this Miyoko. So we'll take the uh, lead and fire is about 18 kilometers away. How are those looking? They're looking pretty good. Pretty good. Whoa! Iowa is back. Haha. <laughs> What is going on guys, Predator 45HR and welcome back to my channel and finally, finally, welcome back to the Iowa and finally my first video on this glorious, glorious battleship. Now the gameplay you're going to see uh, was recorded last night, live commentary and all that. I did have a different intro uh, recorded for it with like a, a, you know, buying the ship kind of thing, but... I think I accidentally deleted that footage, so I'm just going to do another intro here quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just showing you uh, the modules and that sort of thing that I've got uh, on the iOS at the moment. But isn't she just such a beautiful battleship? Mm. This thing, oh, I missed her so much and now she's back. <laughs> but anyways, before, as I said, before we head over to... Uh, the footage I had from a game last night. Uh, let's just have a quick look at everything that we've got. As you can see, I skipped the B-hull, went straight for C. Uh, I've got the fire control, I've got the propulsion system, and I've got these upgrades. I did the secondary upgrade, because um, the anti-aircraft guns are pretty good already, so just buff up the uh, secondary guns in case we do get really close, especially for those pesky destroyers. Uh, we've then got main battery modification 3, which reduces your uh, reload rate by 12%, uh, but does slow your turret traverse by 17%. Uh, you do notice that you do feel it, but I'd rather have a 20, about 26 second reload uh, instead of the 30 and just deal with a slightly longer reload. I then got damage control 1, and I decided to go for damage control 2. Um, the rudder shift time... Ba -ba 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 is 22 seconds so I mean you could have I could have reduced that by another 20 percent if I'd wanted to but I decided to do that I probably won't put anything in this slot I don't really you know need to see someone I'll give it here I don't need to see anyone 20 percent further away um, or be detected I might if I do it'll probably be this one and I don't know what to do here because main guns I haven't had them knocked out yet uh, so maybe maybe do the AA gun one on there. But anyways, we are now working our way to Montana. But as I said, uh, I'm in no rush. Um, I'm going to now focus on getting Nagato, uh, getting Amagi, should I say, getting uh, Aoba up to Miyoko. And um, I need to actually buy Pensacola because it's been researched forever, but I just need to buy it. So now that I've got Iowa, uh, I'm happy. We'll get to Montana eventually, but as I'm, I'm in no rush. You know, I'm going to play this ship a lot, and we'll get there when we get there. But anyways, let us head off to the re oh, so not the replay, the gameplay from last night, and I hope you enjoy my first look at the Iowa battleship. Enjoy, guys. All right, and welcome to the battle. We are on Islands of Ice. As you can see, we have... Uh, tier 10 carrier, we also have a uh, Yamato, the enemy's got two Iowas and a North Carolina, uh, two Zows, we've got a Zow, so it's kind of been up tiered a little bit, but it's no bother, Iowa can handle herself because she is such an amazing, amazing ship. Um, this is uh, probably the, I'm just trying to remember how many games I've played in this tonight, I think this is my fourth game or fifth game. Uh, we won the first one, but it just wasn't a good game. Uh, second, uh, in fact, I'm pretty fairly sure this is my fifth game. Second, third, and fourth game were uh, defeats and also not very good. Um, you know, just teams dying. And like I had one, I think my last match on this map, you know, we had like a whole bunch of cruisers who stuck with our carrier to protect it because, I mean, the enemy had two carriers, an eight and a seven, T8 and T7. We had a single seven. And a whole bunch of cruisers stuck with the carrier to protect him, which is all well and good, except that then left the rest of the team outnumbered. And uh, at the end, I was left sailing my Iowa against three enemy cruisers, a battleship and a destroyer. 
Um, and it's amazing how much punishment the ship can take. I will tell you that. Um, eventually, I think uh, I was undone by the one, a torpedo squadron from... And we got an Amagi nuclear. We'll take the lead and fire a shot. Uh, I was eventually undone by. I couldn't get out of the way of a, a, the torpedoes in time. And I took one and uh, with the fire that I, you know, that I was taking, uh, just I was I was dead. And those were not bad, but three hits for thirteen hundred. Um, again, like my very first video, I brought you in the North Carolina. I do apologize if my aim and that is off. Um, I, even after the four games or so that I've had, I haven't quite gotten uh, the hang of these guns again. They are, they, they, they do feel different to use than North Carolina. You don't um, need to lead quite as much, and those just fell short. That was unfortunate. Um, you don't need to lead quite as much, so uh, quite a few times I've found myself giving targets just a little bit too much lead. Um, but we're getting there, and hopefully... We will manage to get our eye in with these guns soon. And I mean, they just sound amazing. The Iowa is... I'm not sure if it is the same sounds as, as North Carolina or if it's just in my head, but they certainly sound different. Uh, it's a little bit more dangerous. And I kind of spliced. Also, RNG has really been hating on me in this thing. <laughs> you know, it happens. What can you do? But I've had like perfect shells that would have... Had a very good chance of cit citadeling an enemy, and like half of them land just in front and half behind. So, RNG is being a dick tonight, uh, but I'm sticking with it because I know sooner or later uh, my luck will will change and RNG will begin to favour me once again. Um, just trying to see who we're going to shoot at next. This Megami maybe. Take the lead there, fire the front two guns, which are ready. As you can see, the rear turret is still turning. Um, that. And there's not enough lead on this guy. Always with the bloody Japanese cruisers. Um, never, well not never, but they always seem to be not enough lead. But we're going to turn and fire again and see if we can get anything on him as he comes around. Try and remember to give him a little bit more lead, but he's now maneuvering so I'm just holding my shot and fire there as you can see I mean that with that uh, although we do suffer with our turret traverse right now uh, we do have a 26 second reload which is quite nice and those were not bad he just turned away at the last minute but we still got two hits for 9,000 damage and I think that's our first proper damage registered in this match um, we've got a Kagero, 16 kilometers away. We do have to keep an eye out for him because I think his torpedoes do have a range of like 16 kilometers. We've got the Samagi, so we're going to fire at him. And we're heading, we're going to head uh, this direction with our Yamato and uh, his cruiser escort. And do we get anything on these shells? No, we do not. Hmm, unfortunate. And there we've got the enemy Zows. Now these guys are platooned up together. So we're going to take the shot. And he looks like he started turning. So we're going to stagger those uh, shots and see if we can get anything. He has disappeared. No hits. And wow, there we get a Citadel. Nice. It was a very weird angle to get a Citadel on. But we'll take it. Not going to complain at all. Uh, and this Kagero is dead hooray the our carrier took him out uh so that's good their only destroyer is gone we didn't obviously we didn't have one it's megami's 16.8 kilometers pulling away a little bit um this fire like that and fingers crossed hope for the best come on citadel Come on, come on, come on, oh, <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> Few in front and the rest behind, but I mean, he did turn in, so um, can't really complain too much. And this Zhao has opened, uh, opened fire with torpedoes, I guess we can say. 
So we're going to take the lead again and fire. Come on, money. No money. 6,000 damage from three hits, so they're all kind of overpenetrated. And he's fired a spread of torpedoes uh, towards our Yamato, who will also have them spotted and should have no trouble getting out the way, hopefully. Other Zao's firing torpedoes. They are wrecking. They've wrecked whatever that was. And they're firing on our North Carolina. And looks like Yamato did unfortunately take one. And come on, Citadel. Yay! <laughs> Another Citadel. And we get a kill. Um, this Otago, 20 kilometers behind us. We're going to finish off the Zao. And they did manage to kill our North Carolina, unfortunately. But it's 3 to 2 right now. So things are, well, at least they're not looking bad. He's going to be continuing that turn. So we'll fire there. And uh, did we get, no, the Yamato got him. Didn't even see any shells going in from the Yamato. You bastard. You took our kill. South Park reference, if you don't know it. Shame on you. Um, so now five to two. <laughs> so finally I have a good team, because there's been a lot of matches uh, where results have been very much reversed. You know. They kill all of us, and we're lucky. My team's like if they kill two or three. Um, so. I guess we're going to head. Hmm. I don't know. Samagi is 14 kilometers away. Really nice distance to shoot to the Namagi, if only damn island wasn't in the way. But we're going to bring our guns around to face in that direction, because that's where all of the enemy threats are. Um, I see the guys talking in chat about patch 0.4.1 uh, where we are now going to get symmetrical matchmaking for aircraft carriers and I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait for I don't know why they can't just introduce it now. Matchmaker doesn't, you know, that's their server side. They can just quickly change that. Um, and we get one hit for nothing. I'm going to fire there because it kind of looks like he's turning. But I don't hold out much hope for anything on that salvo. We've got the enemy Iowa. And he's continued to turn. That's good. Um, <laughs> he says he's going to play the Yamato. And four and a half thousand damage. Sort of okay. We can... It's decent enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to patch 0.4.1 with the symmetrical... Uh, carrier matchmaking because it, it really does make a big difference. I'm sure you all know when one t team has a carrier and the other one doesn't or the other team's got a carrier that's two or three tiers higher than your carrier. Even better when <clears throat> their carrier's several tiers higher than your carrier and they have another one. Those games are especially fun. So I'm really glad that they're doing that. Uh, it should help balance the game out a lot between the teams. I do worry a little bit, though, that it's... Uh, and the worry is a strong word, but I, I do wonder how it's going to affect queue times for carrier players. Um, especially at the higher tiers. And these are some nice spread on these shells. And two hits for 9,000 damage, nearly. The rest kind of... The other shells just kind of did their own thing, you know? They got places to be, things to do. They can't be, yeah. They can't all be worried about hitting enemy ships. God, what do you think they are? Uh, and we're getting really nice close range here. Um, unfortunately, just these damn icebergs. And I think I will have the advantage if, when when we do get uh, proper line of sight. I think, I think my armor is better than Omagi's, uh, and I'm pretty sure my guns are better too. But it looks we got two torpedo squadrons trying to make a move on Amagi. We are capturing the base. Um, we've got this Iowa coming in. He is a stock Iowa though, or at least stock hull. Uh, so we've at least got a 12,000 hit point lead on him. And he's dropped all the torpedoes. The Amagi is going to eat all of them. So unfortunately, we didn't even get a fire shot at him. Um, and it looks like Iowa has turned. He's no longer coming through this uh, passage 
on our starboard side. He is now heading directly towards uh, Yamato and what was that, New Orleans, who was uh, escorting him. Our Yamato has taken some pretty big damage. He has gotten two kills, though, so that's pretty good. There's also an Amagi on the side, but he's very far away. He's at the very... Well, I suppose he's 18 kilometers away. Not too bad, but he's... Iowa is the one we're going to go for. He's eight, less than eight kilometers away now. Um, putting some serious fire into our Yamato, at least someone is. Oh, the price of repairing tier 10s. Ouch. It hurts. If that guy loses his ship, he's going to... It's going to hurt his bank account. And we should nearly have a shot. Should be able to see you there. His bow is starting to come around. And fire. And those were not particularly good. A little, little bit too much. Um, gonna select him up for our secondaries. And Yamato's nearly dead, actually. 2,500 health now. We're nearly reloaded. We'll lead less this time. <laughs> Fire rear guns there. <clears throat> 2,000 damage. Fire again. And this New Orleans getting in the way. But thankfully we uh, scooch over him. Uh, we do 7,000 damage. And Yamato's down. But New Orleans is now circling Iowa. The other Iowa is being engaged by probably looks like three cruisers and a battleship on, of some form. Just looking at the minimap. Uh, these are the last two enemy ships left, so team has done quite well. Um, very bad angle. Fire one, but he's now turning. Good. No damage, so we're going to hold fire on our front two guns. And wait until we get a bit more of a broad target to shoot at something a little more like that so we'll fire and two citadels and a kill for 25,000 damage very nice <laughs> so a nice little end to the battle and victory for our team not a bad match overall but as I said still learning these guns and uh, next video you'll have and I will hopefully be a lot better but anyways let's have a look at how we did we got 25 target hits one incapacitation destroyed two new vessels Caused to fire once, got four citadel hits for 310,000 silver, 3,000 research, and 149 convertible research. We came second place for the team, about 400 points behind the carrier. North Carolina came first on the enemy team. We did 95,000 armor piercing damage, 7,000 from fire, and 722 from our secondary guns. So just over 100,000 uh, damage, which is about what I've done in some of my other games. I haven't really had an amazing match yet. But as I said, I still got to get my eye in with these guns. Um, and once I do, Iowa will wreck many, many faces. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button down below and maybe consider subscribing for more World of Warships content as well as War Thunder and a few other things that I throw into the mix from time to time. Also, be sure to check the description link down below for more links uh, this time. <laughs> Don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, for links to my Facebook and my Twitter pages. And you guys can follow me there as well if you so desire. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this video. I'm glad to have finally brought you in Iowa after... Oh God, the grind for the money. The grind is real, ladies and gentlemen. The grind is real. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for stopping by. This is Predator458 signing off. And I will see you guys next time.